inspiration, right? Billy Kohler going to work every single day in the fight of his life, and we know hopefully that he will make it to that game once the stadium is built. Jeff, thank you so much. Fantastic story. That's the kind of story that gives you chills, but Josh, if you step outside, you are not going to be having chills because no it's chills. so hot out there. Yeah, and the heat is just going to keep on keeping on. We've got more 90 degree heat waiting in the wings as we work our way into uh, tomorrow. We almost made it, as uh, Don Knotts used to say on uh, Get Smart. Missed it by that much. One degree, 89 was our top temp today. The average being 80. Actually, we were only four degrees shy of the record high for today. And uh, there were spots that did hit 90, places like Dunkirk. Uh, Buffalo is now experiencing its fourth warmest climatological summer to date. The climatological summer being the period that goes from June 1st all the way to the end of August. And uh, I think this uh, number is going to climb as there's more heat waiting in the wings. There's also more of that high altitude smoke from the Canadian wildfires to talk about. It's thin, but it's out there. You may have noticed the sun looking a little fuzzy during the course of the day today. It's still going to be with us into tomorrow. On Tuesday, we're going to start to see some of this smoke lifting off to the north. So the sky will have a little bit more of a bluer appearance to it at that time. But the icky stickies are back. The humidity is definitely going to be on the rise Tuesday. Still in check though for tomorrow. Maybe you want to get that boat bottom wet. Breezes will be light. Westerly 5 to 10 knots. Water temperature at 76 degrees. Not a drop of rain for tomorrow. But as we work our way into, and that should say uh, Monday by the way, but as we work our way into the day on Tuesday, that is going to change. Hour by hour we go here for your Monday. Sunshine, true summer simmer, upper 80s, some of that haze around. And again, those dew point temperatures, they're still in check for today. But as we go into Tuesday, that's when we're back into the humid category. And we're going to stay in the humid category, I think, for most of the week. And you need to keep those watering canes handy, as I said, because as we go into uh, tomorrow, I don't think we'll see any rainfall potential. But once we get into Tuesday, there will be some pop up thunderstorms and the atmosphere being fueled with more moisture could produce a couple of downpours at that time. 88 degrees, the dew point temperature at 57, so it's still dry. Again, we hit 90 in Dunkirk officially, 86 in the falls. And check this out, storm system out over the coast is actually spilling clouds inland from east to west. So we can see some of those here even into our neck of the woods by the time we get into uh, tomorrow. Tonight, though, mainly starlit. Shakespeare would call it a midsummer night's dream. We drop into the mid 60s tomorrow, starting out in the 70s, again heading for 90. There are some of those clouds making their way in from east to west, but they're just mid and high level clouds adding to the beauty of the sky a little bit. And then there are some of those pop up showers and thunderstorms again for Tuesday. So might want to think about having the umbrella at that time, but definitely do some watering if you can uh, this evening and again for tomorrow, taking care of those gardens and those lawns. Hazy, barely a breeze tonight into the mid 60s, 85 in Lockport, 90 in Pendleton for tomorrow, 89 in Kenmore, and we make our way to 80 in Wellsville. A little bit more in the way of cloud cover there again from that storm off the coast. There's your super seven day forecast on the muggy side, even on the humid side as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday with scattered thunderstorms. The heat is back in a big way Thursday again, and then we're back to standard summer fare for next weekend. You're watching 7 News at 6. Stay with us.